and it is titled This is Kenya's Last Best Chance. The Central Committee of the Party has this morning held a meeting to deliberate on the ongoing crisis in Kenya. This meeting is happening at a most difficult time for our country, given all that has happened in the last few weeks. We are acutely aware that many families are still in mourning, having lost their loved ones, with civil society groups estimating that over 30 young Kenyans fell to the regime bullets in the cause of the street protests. Many of these families are yet to bury these victims. On behalf of the entire ODM party... ...there in Kangemi, uh, it appears uh, that uh, the tensions have risen quite fast and we have to move away from that area. Our journalist Frederick Mwitiridi together with uh, the rest of and our some crew are still in hospital. have... Uh, we wish all of them quick fled. recovery. We are in awe of the Kenyan youth who through their unity of purpose have stood with their fallen colleagues and raised vast sums of money in very short times to pay hospital bills for the injured. As a mass movement that has been on this journey of true liberation for a long time, we know how difficult it is to achieve some of the things that we have seen you do. You have absolutely earned our respect as a party and we salute you. As believers in the right to peaceful protest as enshrined under Article 37, we condemn in the strongest terms possible the abuse of police power in the deployment of violent suppression techniques on innocent and armed protesters. Our position is that no one has to die in exercise of the rights under Article 37. We further condemn the ongoing arbitrary abductions of innocent Kenyans who are cutted away in the most violent and inhumane manner and held in communicado for days. As we speak, the reports are that upwards of 50 individuals have been illegally abducted and their whereabouts remain unknown. To make it worse, it is clear that no one in government is ready to take responsibility, to render an apology or to make amends. The head of state himself has tried to distance his regime from these killings, injuries and abductions, instead conjuring up theories when everyone can see the blood on his hands. We have the most callous, insensitive and obtuse regime in the history of Kenya. It is no wonder that chants of Ruto must go are ringing out all across our land. Government must never abdicate its responsibility to protect life and the property of its citizens. And if it does, as Ruto has done, it deserves to go. As a party that was founded on the tenets of social justice, we shall walk the journey of bringing about justice and accountability for all of the regime's crimes since they took power. We stand with the people in their quest to liberate themselves politically, socially, and economically. Kenyans asked us to stand with them against the punitive tax proposals in the finance bill, and we did. Of the 115 members of the National Assembly who stood with the people and voted against the bill on the floor, 73 were in fact members of ODM. We applaud these great patriots and thank them for being true representatives of the people. As a party, we celebrate you for being on the right side of history, and the party has charged the Honorable Opio Wandai and the Whip Junet Mohammed to convey this message to each individual member who stood with the people of Kenya. Sadly, a few of our members went against the wishes of the people and sided with the oppressor, and we will speak to those the consequences uh, shortly. In light of this state of affairs, the, mini the meeting has resolved as follows. Number one, that it is time for all of us in the political leadership to begin to listen. Listen to what the people are saying and not to our own voices. The young people have spoken in plain language that should be clear to everyone. Let's not be vague. Let's just do what the young people are telling the government to do. Number two, we consider this to be Kenya's last best chance. The youth have given our country our last best chance. We either seize it and swim with it by implementing all their demands or we ignore it and sink the country altogether. Number three, that the Kenya Kwanzaa regime must take full responsibility for all the deaths 
injuries and destruction of property arising from the violent suppression of peaceful protests. The president must publicly direct his security organs to forthwith seize the ongoing abductions an exercise that we believe is being undertaken with his full approval and the approval of the state. He must account for and order the release of all detainees abducted by these security agencies. Number four, that the independent police oversight authority must expedite investigations into all these incidents, including allegations of mass murder by police in Didurai and in Rongai. We were shocked to watch the president claim on live television that only one life was lost. It tells you how out of touch with reality he is. Number five, that in our view, what happened on the 25th of June 2024 amounted to a vote of no confidence in the Ruto regime. It is clear that this fact is totally lost on Ruto. It is reflected in his petulant proposals on how we manage our economy following the rejection of his tax bill. Instead of focusing on cast cutting wastage, opulence and corruption in his regime, he, he is hitting back at the Kenyan people with threats to cut funding for the judiciary and the county governments. Six, that the ODM party will support credible austerity measures in the executive and in parliament. These two institutions have been expressly indicted by the people as citadels of lajis and wastage. With fresh memory of the invasion of parliament, and standing threats for occupation of the executive seat of power. These two institutions must have an honest introspection on their contribution to our current predicament and take measures to lessen the taxpayers' burden. As a party funded by taxpayers ourselves, we will also be taking steps to scale down on our presence across the country and some of our activities to reflect this new economic reality. Lastly, that ODM shall initiate and lead recall processes in the following constituencies in light of the current office holders' repeated violation of their sacred oath and the wishes of their electorate. Number one, game constituency. Number two, Bondo constituency. Number three, Navajolo constituency. Number four, Kajiado Central. Number five, Ikolomani. And lastly, Suba South in Homer Bay. Thank you. That is the end of the statement. Eric. Yes, yes, sorry. Uh, Kirui, can I uh, first take questions that are related to the statement we've read, Brad? Yeah, please. Yeah, I don't understand that. Now, uh, you see that you support the demand by the youth. Uh, one among the demands is the resignation of the president. Do you support that? The youth have spoken in clear and certain terms. Let us not pretend like we don't hear what they are saying. You have heard it, we have heard it, Ruto has heard it. <laughs> yeah. Next question. Yeah. No, because nobody believes what the president is saying. His actions and words are totally uh, different. And what we have called for in our statement, first of all, is he must publicly speak to his police, publicly, and tell them that he knows what they are doing and Kenyans have asked that he stop. So if he doesn't stop that, really, there is really a, nothing to discuss. Many of the people he's looking for to have a discussion with are actually in custody. Let's look. Six. Six. Yes. Six. Yes, the criteria was very simple. In our statement, we have said repeat Six. offenders. Six. Those who voted against the wishes of the people in 2023 20, uh, and again did it in 2024 because there are few who met their Damascus moments this year. Yes, this is the criteria we have applied the uh, look. And we want to be able to focus on these six as a lesson to all the others. Is there any other question? Thank you. Thank you.
That's Thank you. Asante. Thank you very much. Asante ni sana. Santa. Lunch. All right, uh, that has been uh, the ODM party, of course, uh, led by Raila Odinga and the Secretary General, that is Edwin Sifuna, addressing the press on what is happening in the country. First, they have condemned the use.